Welcome to CAT Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 7.12. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let's get right into the question. So we asked to find i of t for time greater than zero. So this is a similar problem with the previous chapter or the previous section, which talked about step response of a, um, what's this? RC circuit, right? So this is the step response of an RL circuit. We have an inductor in play. But now we are actually dealing with current. So the general formula would be I infinity plus I zero subtract I infinity E to the minus T divided by the time constant and not forgetting the units of amperes. So now let's go to time less than zero. So for time less than zero. Now, if you look here, this switch was closed for a long time and it's, it is actually opened or it was opened at time equal to zero. So now it was closed, it was a short circuit. And now a short circuit in parallel with the resistor value is going to result in a short circuit. And therefore, we're going to have something like that. Then we're going to have a short circuit where we had the inductor because this current source is actually going to be this current source is actually going to be providing dc which is over here and that is why we have that inductor as a short circuit to dc and this is what is going to happen again we have a short circuit in parallel with this resistor value which means we're going to have a resulting short circuit again and therefore i just before zero which is also the same as I just after zero is equals to six amperes. So that is your initial condition, or that is your initial value of I, and that is gonna go into a formula and it's gonna be quite helpful. So now look at time greater than zero. At time greater than zero, we actually open this switch up and our new circuit is gonna look something like this. We're gonna have that five ohm. Then we're going to have a short circuit again where we had our inductor because it's a short circuit to DC. Then we're going to have this 10 ohms over here. Then we're going to have this current source over here. And we have our I indicated where it was. Right? So that is that. And we can now find RTH with respect to the storage element, which is expected to be something here. And we take out the independent source. So if we just open that, just so we find RCH with respect to that, and we take this out, which is going to be an open circuit, we were going to have an RTH, which was going to be RTH is equal to 5 plus 10, because this would be in series. So 5 plus 10, which is 15 ohms. That is for RTH. Now, that is going to help us to find the time constant, and the time constant for an RL circuit is L divided by R. And the value of this inductor is 1.5 Henry's, and the value of our RTH is 15, which is going to result in a time constant of 0 0.1 seconds. So that is our time constant. We have our RTH. And now we can actually proceed to find, we can now proceed to find, what can we find next? We can now proceed to actually just substitute every value which we have in our equation. So I of T, just a recap, I of T is equal to I, infinity plus i of zero subtract i infinity e to the minus t divided by tau which is the time constant in amperes so now i'm gonna find so what's left so we found the time constant we found rth and we found the initial condition what's left is only to find i infinity so now let's find i infinity using this we can just basically just use current division and therefore to find i infinity it's going to be equals to six multiplied by ten divided by 10 plus 5, and this is 15. So dividing that, we're going to have divided by 5, we're going to have 3, we're going to have 2 at the top, then this cancels out, we have 2 at the top, and therefore I infinity is ultimately equals to 4 amperes. We now have all the values which you need, and we can substitute them into this formula to ultimately simplify it into whatever we want, and that is going to actually solve the problem. So I of t is equal to I infinity, which we just found to be 4. And we have an initial current of 6, which we found subtract 
the inf infinite current of four, and we have that divided by 0 0.1, which is our time constant, which we found. And the final answer simplified is therefore going to be RT is equal to four plus two e to the minus 10 t amperes four times greater than zero.